Welcome back to PTS English News. I'm Ethan Liu. Overseas compatriots from all over the world have been arriving in Taiwan during the past several days to attend the National Day festivities. Over 6,300 overseas compatriots have checked in, an increase of 67 percent compared to last year. During the rehearsal for the National Day celebration, overseas compatriot representative Xu Zhaohui mistakenly said President Jiang in her speech. Overseas Community Affairs Council Minister Wu Xinxing said she was just too nervous. The number of overseas compatriots who have returned to Taiwan for the National Day festivities and checked in with the Overseas Community Affairs Council hit 5,000 on the morning of October 9th. The 5,000th person to check in was Liao Mengsu, a resident of California. The OCC presented her with a certificate. By noon, the number had reached 6,393, an increase of 67 percent compared to last year's 3,805. The overseas compatriots came from 65 countries. Controversy has surrounded this year's festivities due to the absence of the Republic of China flag. Many of the overseas compatriots said they noticed the number of flag sliding major thoroughfares was significantly less compared to previous years. Nevertheless, they were excited to attend the National Day Evening Banquet in Taichung and the National Day Soiree in Taipei. During the dress rehearsal for the National Day celebration, overseas compatriot representative Xu Zhaohui ran through her speech, during which she accidentally said President Jiang. OCAC Minister Wu Xingxing sought to calm things down, saying this occurred because Xu was too nervous. The OCAC passed out overseas compatriot cards so the returning overseas compatriots to encourage them to consume while in Taiwan. The cards offer discounts at 432 medical institutions, tourist spots and restaurants. According to Wu, the highest number of overseas compatriots returning to Taiwan for the National Day festivities in the past nine years was 20,669 in 2011, the 100th anniversary of the Republic of China's founding.